Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing. That helps me out a lot. And I'm going to give you a couple of different blade combinations, skirt combinations, and trailer combinations, the colors that should help you catch more fish. Because there are a bunch of different blades, a bunch of different ways you can set up a chatterbait. And I'm trying to make this as cost efficient and as simple to put together all while catching different fish on different types of fisheries. So let's dive into the most natural chatterbait that there ever was that i've probably caught more fish on this combination than any it's going to be a green pumpkin trailer a green pumpkin skirt and then some kind of black or green pumpkin blade i think the paint came off this blade so i just colored it black with a marker but the whole deal of this chatterbait is just to get it to have no contrasting colors i want it to be as subtle and as just doesn't stick out i don't want it to you know pop out at the fish i want it to be a surprise to get that reaction strike and i'm throwing this on days when the strike window is very small so this is a bait that i will throw on calm days sunny days not necessarily just in really clear water but on days where it's just tough to get a bite this is going to be my go-to now if i'm fishing the same color water let's say but we have some wind maybe we have a greenish tint some type of tint in the water maybe a tannic color where there's still a good amount of visibility you know a foot and a half three feet of visibility but it just has a color to the water like green like a lot of those tennessee river lakes or lakes that have a lot of grass in them or maybe that tannic color which is like that river color water or just a lot of different lakes that have a bunch of trees and grass and stuff in them they get a tint to them this green pumpkin with this gold blade also on windy days it is a, a killer color but that gold blade is very important and you'll see this come back in a lot of my different colors i keep all my chatterbaits with a natural color blade and a gold blade because there are days when this just does do a lot better now we'll go to our gin clear colored water you know water that has a lot of visibility and there's not really much color to it and you want to imitate shad you have a silver blade. It's a lot like spinnerbait fishing, the clear of the water, the silver blade. I'm gonna go with some type of translucent skirt. Now I can throw a blue glimmer or a translucent trailer on this to imitate shad as natural as I can. But let's say we have some clouds, some wind. I know the fish are still on shad. That's when I might put a white pearl trailer on there. So instead of you know taking you know your, your chatterbait, cutting it off and putting a white chatterbait on, I will still go with this, but I'll just put that white trailer on there. Most of this bait is the trailer. So if you need it to stick out just a little bit more, but you don't want to go full white on white, leave that translucent skirt on there and then go with the white trailer. Same thing with, with the wind, or maybe you're getting a little bit of off-colored water, that gold blade. You know, you see this color tints all over the country. You know, when I think of tannic water i'm thinking of santee cooper anywhere in florida any southern river even you know a lot of the mississippi river it has that tea light you know kind of a weak tea color to it still good visibility you know you may have a foot to three feet of visibility in that water but that gold just really shines in that kind of water also with the wind other things i was talking about so this is a white skirt with a translucent trailer and a gold blade this is probably something i was fishing around docks i was throwing it underneath docks so low light conditions but i still like you know try to keep it as natural as i possibly can but also i want to make sure the fish can find it so that's probably what i was doing with that but that is chatterbait blades colors when do you switch some days it's not a big factor and some days i've had where i'm throwing green pumpkin with green pumpkin my co-angler is throwing a white and chartreuse with the gold blade and just crushing me. So it's not just clear water, dirty water. Sometimes the sun, the tint of the water, that makes a big difference when it comes to chatterbait fishing. So try a couple different blades. Make sure you have a couple different size and color skirts and trailers. Big time fish catching bait this time of year. You got to try it and make the adjustments. So good luck to you guys and I'll see you on the water.